of an American nuclear-powered supercarrier has risen massively with the introduction of the Ford class, and there doesn't appear to be any relief in sight even as the design matures and is reproduced. Updated cost estimates were published in the Congressional Research Agency's latest report to Congress on the Ford Class Carrier Program that was released on July 2, 2018. It comes as USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN 79, already the most expensive ship ever built. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN 78, procured in 2008, and already in testing, is now calculated to cost $13 billion. That is roughly doubled the cost of the last Nimitz-class carrier built, the USS George H. W. Bush, CVN 77, including inflation. USS John F. Kennedy, CVN 79, procured in 2013 and is currently deep in the construction process, is now calculated to cost $11.3 billion. USS Enterprise, CVN 80, procured this year, and is still in the very early stages of construction, is projected to cost $12.6 billion. The yet-to-be-named, CVN 81, is slated to leap in price to just over $15 billion. It's worth noting that the figures are in then-year dollars, based on procurement date, but inflation alone does not justify the increase in costs. The original idea was that the cost would decline, after the first Ford-class ship, and also keep in mind these figures do not include research, and development, which represents many billions of additional dollars. What is the proper name for this, CVN-81, super expensive ship? USS Barack Obama Aircraft Carrier, or USS Donald Trump Aircraft Carrier? It's not exactly clear why CVN-81 will cost $2.5 billion, more than its predecessor, but that is a massive increase. Overall the numbers are staggering across the board, with little to no savings realized as the design matures.